Here are some tips for snagging difficult dining reservations for your Walt Disney World trip. Disney World trip planning is not easy and among some of the most difficult parts of the planning is the dining reservations. There are a lot to choose from and for the most popular dining reservations, they're actually really competitive. But we have some tips to share with you about how to get even the most difficult dining reservations or at least increase your odds. Here are some of those. First of all, and the most surefire way to get the most dining reservations is to book 60 days out and stay on site. So a lot of people say well, staying on site may not be worth it, but one of the perks of staying on site is that you can make all your dining reservations 60 days ahead of time, all in one sitting. So let's say you have a seven day trip and 60 days before your trip begins, you can make seven days worth of dining reservations. Offsite people have to wait until 60 days before the day that they want to eat. So you have access to the ones towards the end of your trip before the offsite guests do. The way that you want to do this when you book 60 days out is to first of all, list your dining reservations in order of difficulty and not chronologically. So I think the tendency is to want to say day one, day two, day three, but maybe day three doesn't have difficult dining reservations on it and day four does. So you kind of want to sort them in the order of difficulty and not in the order of chronology. Now you might say, how do I know which ones are the most difficult? So character meals are generally going to be at the top of the list, all of them. They are the most competitive of the dining reservations. There are a few others that are competitive as well, such as Space 220. And so those would want to be the top of your list and the first ones that you book while the other ones can float more towards the bottom. And when you are online 60 days out as an on-site guest, there have been a couple of different methods over the years that we have suggested. So we used to suggest booking on the computer with multiple tabs open in your browser for every restaurant so that as soon as the time opened up, you could just refresh those tabs and book those reservations. However, the browsers have not been as reliable sometimes as the app has been. So I want you to sort of leave it open, maybe have both, have the app on your phone and have like browser on your computer to see which one is working best. When I recently did a round of dining reservations, I had both open and the app was way faster partially because it opened up faster than the website did and also partially because the number of steps to complete a dining reservation were fewer in the app than through a browser so i was able to get through them much quicker but i would have both of them open and just sort of experiment to see which one is best because one might be better if you can't get anything through the app or the website or if there's some issues technical glitches make sure you have the phone number ready at 7 a.m eastern time the website and the app will open up at 6 a.m Easter time, the phone is available at 7 a.m. and you can call and try to get anything that was an issue. If they're sold out, they're gonna be sold out, but if there were technical glitches, the people on the phone may be able to help, whereas the website or the app were not able to. So anyway, try, try website, try app, and as a backup, make sure you have the phone number handy to call. Another tip for on-site guests booking 60 days out is to put your most difficult reservations towards the end of your trip. I mentioned earlier how on-site guests can book them all in one sitting, and that means towards the end of your trip, particularly if it's a longer trip, fewer people are going to have access to those dates, so your odds are gonna be much better. So let's say you want a Topolino's character breakfast, which is one of the hardest ones to get. If that is on your list and you want to increase your odds for getting it, put it towards the end, and the chances that you'll get it will be better because because most people don't have access to that yet. When making reservations, if you are struggling to get anything, experiment with party size. Let's say you have a party of six, you could break it down into four and two and try to get two separate reservations. For example, if you have a party of three, you may be able to search for four and get reservations you couldn't get under three, which doesn't make sense, I realize, but sometimes that's what happens. So just experiment with party size and get it. You can always modify the number later on if you need to. Because most Disney table service restaurants allow you to add one additional person when you check in before your reservation, you could even get it for one fewer than needed. Don't necessarily recommend that because you know it's no guarantee, but it is usually an option. And if all else fails, then that could be an option. So if you have a party of five and you were able to find four, that might work out. Try to get five if you can, but if you can't, four might work for you. Another tip for getting dining reservations is to consider calling 
and or using the open table app to book this particularly relates to non-disney owned restaurants there are a lot of those in disney springs if you can't get it through the disney system a lot of times calling will give you more openings or open table will have openings that you can book just like any restaurant outside of disney world these restaurants often will release a certain availability to the disney system and then have more through their own system so you can try both angles so don't don't hesitate to pick up the phone and call or to try open table for some of those another tip that has become very popular in the last few years is to try a reservation finder these are alert tools that will detect that something has opened up that previously was unavailable and it can text you or email you to let you know and then you can try to log in and snag it as long as it is still available. There are various ones such as Mouse Dining and Mouse Watcher. There are pros and cons of each, different costs and different availability. I will say that Mouse Watcher has more things that it can search for such as tours and different kinds of appointments in addition to dining. So if you're looking for some of those, but Mouse Dining is also an option. And last but not least is don't give up. I know it is very frustrating when you're trying to make reservations way ahead of time and you don't get exactly what you want but the truth is that people cancel all of the time particularly in the couple days leading up to a date where they realize they're not going to have time for it they're not interested in it etc and the reservations will drop so never give up just try and try and try again and you might just get exactly what you want so those are some of our tips for getting dining reservations do you have any others that you would suggest or have you had success using some other methods would love to hear those in the comments thanks for watching